What do you think is driving the digital twin today? Is it government initiatives or the need to fund and build smart cities? Most individuals and people have no idea how it works. So let's take a look. Today, governments are partnering with tech players to build the digital twin of the physical city. Singapore, for instance, has invested 73 million to create a digital replica of the actual city. Now, how cool is that? The objective is to help make urban planning decisions and communicate with its citizens. A similar endeavor is happening over in India. The government is using a digital twin just for the development of a smart city capital for one of the Indian states. Why leverage the digital twin? With the help of the digital twin, it will provide a land use optimization, replicate design plans, smart maps or even geofencing data, audit progress, simulate mobility and traffic, monitor climate change, submit building permits, analyze zoning, and oversee environmental and other compliance. Basically, the digital twin can help with urban modeling and planning, and it can combine spatial, electrical, and mechanical modeling with sensor data. Now let's look at one more city. Earlier this year, a digital twin was developed in Western Sydney. It's Australia's built and natural environment. The open platform can visualize 3D and 4D data over time. Here, an infrastructure developer can locate utilities very easily. The government can better communicate plans for development to citizens. Growth is expected too. ABI Research says urban digital twin deployments will grow from a handful of early implementations just last year to more than 500 by 2025. Digital Twin is having an impact on a smart city because now we are setting the foundation so that you can go at a citywide scale of information and resources and the analytics that now can actually impact the city on a global scale, dealing with transportation, water treatment, and energy, and it allows you to analyze and understand the impacts of those systems uh, as they progress forward. So how can city officials actually leverage the digital twin to see more profitability? To better understand, let's look at one more specific area of city. I wanna focus on transportation. The digital twin is having a big impact on transportation and how we can understand and actually visualize it. There's really some big value in being able to expedite large scale transportation projects. And there's benefits that city officials need to take into account. Having analytics and aligned data gives all of our city officials the ability to look back and scrutinize the impact of all of these projects. Another factor is more being able to expeditiously look at a roadway project that is completed and how they're able to shorten the impact on goods and services for businesses. Using a digital twin within a smart city uh, has many benefits. One of the benefits you can look at is on a road project. The impact of that road project and the timeline to all the uh, businesses that are you know, affected by the delays, the detours and so forth. By having it as a digital twin, you can look at past projects and show the impact on those businesses of the efficiencies of when I get that project done early, those businesses have quicker and more access to customers. Uh, also with the digital twin and leveraging the cloud hosted technologies, you have a communication device for all participants, not just the project, but all of the affected business owners, all the affected transportation routes, all the affected utilities that on a scale of project when you're dealing with roads and rail are very impactful. And now you have a, a line set of data that you can check job after job and see the impact of getting things done early and on time. With the digital twin, city services can get up and running faster. The future of digital twin in cities is growing rapidly in other parts of the world. IDC forecasts smart city spending will climb almost 19% by the end of this year from last year. Singapore is the top investor with Tokyo, New York City, and even London following closely behind. 
Last year, the top use cases were related to resilient energy and even infrastructure. In the next five years, you can expect use cases with the fastest spending growth will be vehicle to everything connectivity, officer wearables, and of course, you can expect the digital twin. Early adopters are setting the pace, which makes it truly an exciting time to get involved in the digital twin if you're already not involved. So if you haven't already taken notice of what is happening with the digital twin in our smart cities, perhaps you might just set some time aside to get caught up because you just might be leading a digital twin effort for your company in a smart city near you. Thanks for watching Construct Tech TV, fierce advocates for construction. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe.